The first thing that I want to do is to try and disable the energy saving setting. Now, if you go into the picture menu, you will see that the default picture mode is eco. And normally I would like to switch to a more accurate picture preset, say filmmaker mode or as an expert dark space mode. And once I do that, I want to make sure that the TV is not actually changing the picture output on the fly because of some energy saving settings. So if we go into the energy saving sub menu, you can see that energy saving step is set to auto by default, which means that you know the TV will be changing the color temperature and also the light output on screen depending on the amount of ambient light that is detected by the light sensor on the TV itself. So normally I would turn this off to achieve a more consistent and more accurate color and also light output from the television. After that, every time I switch off the TV, you will be greeted by this LG logo and there is a way to turn it off because I think you know some of you probably don't mind that but some of you may be like me you know you think that you have already paid a lot of good money for a television from a certain company and the last thing you want is for the logo of said company to be shoved down your throat and the way to turn off the logo from being displayed every time you turn the TV off is by spamming the mute button on your magic remote. You press it a lot of times and this will bring up this secret menu and you can actually go down here which says show LG logo when turning off the TV. It is engaged by default and if you turn it off then after that, every time you turn off the TV, it will straight away go into standby without displaying the LG Life's Good logo. And I'll turn on this TV again. And another thing about, you know, the 2021 LG OLED in terms of the UI is that every time you turn on the TV, a taskbar will appear at the bottom of the screen, which I think, you know, sometimes can be a bit laggy, especially if you have used your TV for a long time. So I normally would like to remove it. And the way to remove it would be to go into, let's say, the picture user menu and then go into general, go into system, and then go into additional settings, home settings, and I would normally turn both of these off. So this way, Every time I switch on the TV, I'll just get straight into the content that I was last watching. And I don't need to wait for a taskbar to appear at the bottom of the screen, which more often than not is of no interest to me. And some of you may ask me, but Vincent, you know, I want to actually watch Netflix and stuff directly from the taskbar. But if I'm honest, you know, you can actually switch on the TV and go into Netflix directly by pressing the dedicated Netflix button on your smart remote. The same goes for Disney Plus. And in case some of you don't know, as a bonus tip, you can actually assign quick access button for certain apps, you know, on your Magic Remote. So the way to access this would be to long press the zero button on the LG Smart Remote. This will bring up the quick access menu help screen and you can read through the instructions. But basically what this allows you to do is to assign, you know, quick access buttons to the numbers one to eight on your Magic Remote. And you can assign quite a number of different apps really. And let's assign Art Gallery to the number one button. And then if we can get out from here and if we long press the number one button, this will immediately allow you to access the Art Gallery. And you know, you can actually assign various apps including YouTube. If you'd like to watch some of our other videos on LG's 2021 OLED TVs, I've created a playlist here if you'd like to click on it and I will see you in the next video.